friends welcome to this next video on major theory so let us see what is the situation we have till now so we had something like this we have this set of all intervals set of all intervals and we had a function called length function defined on this set okay and then there was this fellow john and john wanted to have something to measure every subset of r so we have this power subset power set of r power set of r means set of all subsets of r and we wanted to have a function which is similar to length function here okay so and this henry he had defined a function called m star for uh, power set of r okay and john wanted three properties to be satisfied by this new function what were those three properties the first property was that l of interval should be same as m star of the interval and then second property was that l of uh, sorry m star of any subset e, uh, e of r translation of that subset should not uh, affect the uh, function which we are defining right and the third property which uh, john was looking for was m star of union of eis i from 1 to infinity should be equal to summation i from 1 to infinity m star of ei whenever eis are disjoint these are the three properties which john wanted in the new function i should not write m star here but Uh, you you should uh, be able to understand that this is for the new function right so we have seen that for the m star function this property is uh, is satisfied this property is satisfied but this property is not satisfied in fact for m star we had this properties m star of union of eis i from 1 to infinity is less than is equal to summation i from 1 to infinity m star of ei and we call this property as countable sub additivity okay and here we don't need the disjointness of the sets eis okay so john is not happy because these two properties are satisfied but his third property is not satisfied then henry says that uh, you want this third property but m star is not even finitely sub final finitely additive m star is not even finitely additive what does that mean this property we call this property as countable sub countable additivity okay because there are countable number of sets i from 1 to infinity and if there are finite number of sets then we call this property as finite additivity okay and m star which henry has defined on the power set of r is not even finitely additive it means that you can actually find two sets a and b you can find a and b such that a intersection b is empty but m star of a union b is less than m star of a plus m star of b you can just you can actually treat it as an assignment and you can try to find out find out two subsets of r which are actually disjoint but major of Uh, outer major of a union b is less than sum of the individual majors okay so this is your task you can just look it is interesting okay so it means that john is not happy because these three properties are not satisfied so what henry is doing henry is saying like this henry is saying okay this is set of all intervals and this is your power set of r okay here is your uh, uh, function l here is your function m star okay here are the three properties m star satisfies the first property the second property and not the third property and uh, john want or uh, john wants all the properties to be satisfied so henry is giving a solution he is saying that i will give you a set which is bigger than the set of all intervals but which is smaller than the set of uh, this is not equal to which is bigger than the set of all intervals and which is small, uh, smaller than the power set of r and here i will define 
a function m and that function m will satisfy all the three properties okay okay so now we are going to define this set what is this set first of all we will define this set and then we'll say what is we'll see what is the function m so he is defining this set as obviously this is a set of subsets of r set of subsets of r okay and we call it as set of lebesgue measurable subsets of r lebesgue measurable subsets of r okay we'll denote it as lebesgue measurable sets okay so we need to have a definition so what is a lebesgue measurable subset of r let us see how a lebesgue measurable subset of r is defined what is the definition of lebesgue measurable subset okay so suppose we have a set e suppose we have a set e of r a subset e of r is said to be lebesgue measurable set if m star of a is equal to m star of a intersection e plus m star of a intersection e complement for any subset a of r so what you have to do you have to select your set e which you have to check whether that is lebesgue measurable set or not so you have to select your set and then you have to choose all the subsets of r this a is any subset of r so you have to check for every subset of r you should get this thing that uh, if you take this set m suppose this is your set e and you are taking any set say a of r subset a of r then a intersection e e is this one and a intersection e complement is this one okay so you should get that major of a is equal to major of this portion outer major of this portion plus outer major of this portion if you are getting this thing then you say that your set e is lebesgue measurable set so basically your set e should divide any subset a of r such that the total outer major of that set is sum of the outer major of the two parts in which e is dividing it okay so this is the definition of outer major of the subset okay uh, sorry i am sorry this is the definition of when do we say that a set is lebesgue measurable set so this is the definition of when do we say that a set is lebesgue measurable set okay so whenever you want to check whether a set is a lebesgue measurable set or not the, uh, you have to check this property whether this property is satisfied or not if this property is satisfied for every subset a of r then your set e is lebesgue measurable set otherwise it is not a lebesgue measurable set okay now uh, you need to check this property but but we can have a simplification so let us see that what is the simplification okay so let let us again write the definition lebesgue measurable set e is said to be lebesgue measurable if m star of a is equal to m star of a intersection e plus m star of a intersection e complement for every subset a of r then we say that e is lebesgue measurable set okay now uh, look at this thing for any subset a of r i can write actually this is your a this is your e this is your e this is your a this is your this portion is your a intersection e complement and this portion is your a intersection e okay so you can clearly see from here from this figure you can see that a is equal to this union this is a inter a i'm sorry a intersection e complement union a intersection e okay so any set a can be written as a intersection e complement union a intersection e now you can use the property of countable sub additivity which we have proved for m star okay that property says that if you have something like this then m star of a is less than is equal to m star of 
a intersection e complement plus m star of a intersection e okay so we have this thing now when you want to prove this thing then uh, the thing which if you want to prove a quantity is equal to some another quantity if we want to prove say m is equal to n how do we do that we can prove that m is greater than equal to n and then m is less than is equal to n if we prove these two things then it implies that m is equal to n now you can see that this is the left right hand side of the definition and this is the left hand side of the definition of lebesgue mixed triple set and we have proved that left hand side is less than is equal to right hand side that is by default okay so in the definition of lebesgue mixed triple set left hand side is by default less than is equal to right hand side okay this is from the uh, countable subadditivity property of outer major right so we need to prove so we need to prove that left hand side is greater than equal to right hand side so this is by default okay not by default but for m star this is true so we need to only prove that lhs is greater than equal to rhs so if you uh, if somebody asks you the definition of a lebesgue measurable set so i think it is suitable to say that m star of a is equal to m star of a intersection e plus m star of a intersection e complement if this is true for every subset a of r then we say that e is lebesgue measurable set but if you are going to prove that e is lebesgue measurable set okay this is the definition basic definition but for proving the things we can use that we need to only prove that m star of a is greater than equal to m star of a intersection e plus m star of a intersection e complement if we can prove only this thing the other way that is left and le less than equal to that is already true because of countable subadditivity of outer major so for doing the questions you can just prove this thing to declare that your e is lebesgue measurable set okay so we have defined what is a lebesgue measurable set now uh, in the next video we'll see um, some properties of lebesgue measurable sets and we will see whether uh, john is happy or not thank you